Hi folks, um, I thought, well, just for a change, why not get on with some chariots? Why not, exactly, so I've just um, sorted out some figures. They were a job to fit, I've had to trim off their feet and toes to get them to fit inside the cab, but these are the horses that I showed you before Christmas, which were already, well, Christmas time, weren't they? They were already finished, so I'm just going to sort out a cab, and paint up the figures, Let's see how we get along. I'm thinking I'm going to do them white, obviously, so it's going to be a probably a light grey undercoat. Uh, I've got a ghost grey, it's called. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll make a start and then come back to you. Right, that's the basic coatings done. I've just uh, put a sand base on because I've got to hide the um, blocks of card that the figures were mounted on. Um, I've undercoated the cab and added uh, the grey to the undercoat that the figures were. Does that make sense? Yes. So they're now grey. So I'm now going to set about painting those. And I think I'm going to put a stain of varnish on the cab. What I'm going to colour it, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to try. I think I'm going to try the mid brown first, just to see um, what that looks like. If it looks passable. So I'll make some progress and then come back to you. Okay, um, well, there we go. That's where I've got to so far. I don't think it's too bad. Um, I actually did um, a white coat, a white coat, a coat of white paint onto the figures and then I've just done a wash on there, which was a soft tone wash on the tunic, which I don't think is too bad. I watered it down so it's, it's not a, so it's not a strong wash. Um, obviously put sand on the base, that's got to be painted. And the cab and yoke, uh, I've done those in a mid-brown, which I don't like really. It's a bit too pinky looking. Um, so I think I'm going to have to change that for others. Um, I mean, it won't matter too much now. I don't know if I can redo it. I'd probably change the shade a bit, but yeah, you know, not ever so pleased to say because it it's like pink tinge to me. Yep, there we go. So I've got to put a stain of varnish on the horses and matte varnish the figures. Uh, yep, they're virtually finished. Uh, so I have uh, matte varnish on those, stain of varnish on the horse, and then a matte and paint the base. There, sir. Very quick to do, didn't take long at all. Um, I've gone with this shield, that's what I've got in the box. It seems quite large. I can't work out if they use a smaller shield, but um, I haven't got any of the smaller ones, only these large ones, so that will have to do. Right, I'll make some progress and then get back to you. Right, there we have it, basically finished. Um, just added the uh, sand paint to the base. I'll take the chariot off because that's all done. So sand paint, I'm now going to dry brush that up. Uh, two shades of dry brush, uh, which is the pinky colour I use on the brown. It looks very good with the sand, I think. And also the off-white. So I'll get that completed. Uh, put some tufts on as well, I think. Just the odd, odd tuft. Um, and then come back to you. So, uh, there we go. Back in a tick. Right, there we go, done and dusted. Base, I'll just tip it slightly so you can see it. Base is sanded, which is, um, I use a, a dark sand base paint. Then we've got the off-white, no we haven't, we've got the uh, creamy colored, peachy colored uh, second coat, and then an off-white last coat. But I think it looks really effective. Um, I've added a few tufts, not green, I've just put basic dry looking tufts. There we go, that's what that looks like. A uh, bit of uh, coppery brass on the end, and the figures are finished. Um, yep, very quick job to do, quicker than I thought, actually. I suppose once you once you set up and have done the horses, which take the most work, I suppose. The, uh, the riders, nothing special. Um, I've tended to, what I've done is use the wash as the shading. Um, on the figures. I thought it's pointless doing lots and lots of shading 
because the wash seems to work quite well. Um, um, <laughs> only slight problem, I have used an armoured horse which tends to be the heavier, that's a medium or the heavy chariots, and that's a light chariot body with four wheel, four spokes. Uh, but it could be a medium chariot crew, I suppose. Um, they have got access to javelins, and then that would be a medium crew. So I'm going to leave the chariot loose at the moment in case I change it and add some lighter horses. But for now, it's finished, Todd. I'm quite pleased with that. It's a very quick job to do. Um, as I said, the horse is already done, so that's cheating in a sense. Um, work my way around the colours. Uh, was not that difficult. I say I'm going to change the cab and yoke colour. Doesn't work for me. It's too pinky. Or I shall leave it in racky grey. But I think I'm probably going to go for a uh, soft tone, soft tone wash next time, just to see if that looks different. And then I may have to overpaint this one. It'll never look quite the same, obviously, because it's had a, the brown wash first. But. I've got another five ready, so I might crack on and do them today. I've got nothing else planned, so I think that's what I may have a go at. But, uh, I'll put some stills at the end, but uh, thanks a lot, and uh, bye for now.